Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Will, the Dragon Whisperer, with another video from my YouTube channel. I want to start this video out with a warning. This video is going to be a live feeding for uh, my bearded dragons and possibly one of my crested geckos who's been exhibiting a high feeding response lately to insects. So I'm going to be feeding some live pinky mice to my two adult bearded dragons. Uh, I don't normally approve of feeding live rodents to reptiles. But in this situation, the breeder that I get my feeders from has some live pinky mice that mother passed away and he had no way to raise them and continue to help them live. So uh, he had been feeding some to his reptiles and he had more than he could use. So he gave some to me when I got my last batch of feeders from him. This is the first time I've done this, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but I thought it would be cool to film it for the YouTube channel. Um, please, once again, if that's something that you don't feel comfortable with watching, Please don't watch any further in the video. I don't know how brutal this could be or how brutal it's going to be. So uh, with that warning and that being said, uh, we're going to get into the feeding and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, this is my Citrus Blue Bar Ramses, nine month old male bearded dragon. And as you can see, he sees his food down there in the bowl moving around and he is already getting pretty excited. He has an incredible color beautiful blue bars he's starting to shed on his tail there starting to darken or haze over but as you can see this is a beautiful boy and here we go buddy it's coming and like i said in the disclaimer this is a live feeding video um i do have some small pinky mice here um i don't really approve of the live feeding of the the mice but he does eat frozen pinkies from time to time and this um situation arose where someone that does breed feeders the mother passed away and these mice were going to pass away anyway so um i figured why not give him the opportunity to get some live food like he would in the wild so uh like i said i put a disclaimer at the beginning if you do not want to see live pinky mice get fed to a bearded dragon then do not watch any further in this video There was a pretty loud crunch there, guys. I don't know if you heard it on the video, but he definitely broke the little guy's back and he started to uh, get him on down and definitely that ended the poor little guy's life and it was pretty quick for the mouse. Actually, <clears throat> I know that looked pretty brutal, but a few seconds after Ramsey's had him in there, he was definitely paralyzed and uh, gone. So he definitely enjoyed that, guys, and anyone who doesn't approve, I'm sorry if you watched that, but he definitely um, interacted like I think he would in the wild if he would have seen that guy. So now we're going to give him his other protein. He has some dubia roaches here and some silkworms, and I'm sure even despite the little mouse, he is definitely going to tear these guys up. That's a good picture of the beautiful coat on this guy. Big triangle shaped head, really impressive boy. He's gonna be a massive dragon, I think one day. Like I said, he's only nine months old and I just weighed him. He's about 410 grams. Uh, these guys can get up between seven and 800. I don't want him to be a big fat dragon though. I'm hoping that he's just gonna be a really big, healthy, beefy dragon. There's his tail beginning to go into shed mode, starting to lose its color. But beautiful orange on this guy, almost candy orange on his front legs. Let's see, beautiful spikes on his beard. And he's a very happy, healthy, big boy. Good boy, Ramses. Really like those silkworms. Those right there you can see on the top of his head guys uh, right here those are considered to be uh, his fat pads kind of a good sign of how healthy a dragon is when he has a good little set of fat pads on his head 
We're going to move on to the next reptile. Good boy, Ramses. All right, guys, this is my big four-year-old female, Clarabelle. As soon as she heard me talking, she looked. She's like, where's daddy? And we're going to start the live feeding with her. Once again, I've put a disclaimer in the video. She is going to be getting a live baby pinky mice for the first time. She may not eat it. She's more eating up. Uh, She's more into just the vegetables at this stage because she's a full grown adult, four years old. So her diet's more like 15 to 20% insects and protein, um, but she eats 80 to 85% just vegetables. She's already tank surfing there because she knows the food is coming. She's getting wound up. But this is gonna be her first time ever even seeing a live pinky mice. She has ate a frozen thawed pinky mice before, so I think she will take it, but we'll see what happens. But those who do not wanna see a live feeding, Please do not watch any further in this video. This is going to probably be brutal. And she definitely took it right away and right there. If you guys heard it, but she already broke the mouse's back and it looks like she has spit it out and I don't know at this point if she's going to go back for it or not. She looks like she's not really sure about it at this point. I'm try to offer it to her again with the tongs. And she definitely went in again. And once again, she has stopped eating it, but the mouse is definitely dead at this point. It does not appear as though Clarabelle is interested any longer. So, we will dispose of the mouse. It is definitely expired. And we will give Clarabelle her bowl of insects and silkworms. And she obviously is hungry and just did not want the mouse. So, anybody who watched that that didn't want to, I'm sorry, I tried to warn you that it was probably going to be brutal. She definitely killed the mouse, but for whatever reason, it could have possibly, it could have possibly been the blood. But she definitely did not enjoy it and want to eat it after she spit it out twice. Wow, she just ejected a roach out into her enclosure because she she eats kind of she's a sloppy eater clarabelle gets excited <laughs> over her protein because she doesn't get it that often and she can be a pretty sloppy eater and we're gonna let her finish up and we're gonna move on to the next reptile Okay guys, here we have my baby girl Aria. She is a five month old bearded dragon. She is a translucent morph and she already knows what time it is as you can see. She has jumped down and she is starting to glass surf because she sees her dubia roaches in the bowl. And they are dusted for her 
and she is going straight into savage mode as you can see i found that these bowls because they have a smooth edge the doobie roaches cannot get out um occasionally they will climb on her uh, and use her as a means of egress but typically they don't get out of here I can put them in here in the bowl early in the morning even if she's sleeping before her lights come on and then it's kind of funny when the lights do come on the roaches uh, start to move around because they pretty much stay still in the dark and uh, then she sees them moving around and she immediately comes down on her tree I have a wise HD pan and scan camera that I have hooked up and during the day it's funny to watch on the camera i can access it remotely through my app on my phone and i can tune in and watch her wake up and see the roaches start moving around and come down and attack so uh one of the highlights of my day sometimes is watching miss aria get her breakfast even though i'm not home through the use of my camera you got one more right there by your feet sweetie he's being sneaky and trying not to move so that you don't see him. He just stepped on him, girl. He's right there. There he is, boom. Uh -uh. See, as soon as she saw there was one left, it was on. I have to clean your glass today, sweetie. It has definitely some streaks on it. As you'll see, her tank is very clean. A little piece of lettuce over there in the cavern. She's got a piece of lettuce in her water bowl. But the ceramic tile makes a big difference and uh, I've spot cleaned her tree and her hammock and her floor every single day. But that's my little baby and her live feeding of some dubia roaches. And I'm pretty sure she'll jump right back up on her tree now and get warm and digest. Now, as you can see, they really like their salads. The yellow peppers, the greens, the carrots, and always, every now and then, a light dusting with the Rapashi Calcium Plus Multivitamin. Look at this. This is Apollo, who I thought was a girl. You guys have heard me talk about this dragon is Aria in past videos, but I resexed her about five or about probably three days ago just because I know that there is a chance that you can miss sex them when they're really young and I was wrong and he is a boy so I have renamed him Apollo and as you can see only at five or six months I worked a lot with this dude when he was younger um, on the vegetables hand feeding and uh, everybody says juveniles are hard to get to eat their vegetables but not this guy when you start young, hand feed them, really work with them every day, you can get them to eat their veggies. Now this is my brand new baby. She's only a few weeks old. The Khaleesi. And I'm giving her hatchling silkworms here. And as you can see, no problem eating. Great feeding response. And that is the Khaleesi. And there we go, another aggressive feed response from the little crested gecko. Loves the silkworms. Uh, give it a little aggressive shake there. Get a little guy. What a cute little girl. She is a beautiful flame. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anybody who's made it this far knows that there was a few brutal moments there. Um, that's, that's the circle of life, you guys. These guys definitely eat these guys in the wild. Um, rodents are something that bearded dragons will eat in the wild. So uh, this is not something that is out of the ordinary. It's not something that I plan to do in the future uh, unless the situation arises again where somebody has some feeders that they can't get rid of and there's no other option. I do think it's better to feed those guys to another animal than to just let them go to waste. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Do anything you can do to help spread and share the channel. This is Will, the Dragon Whisperer. And I'm out.